Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am on Vitter. Now Vitter is a server that will actually be released tomorrow, so the day after I upload this video, just to hype up the server and I'll just show you why we should get hyped for the server. Now before we get into any of that, I just want to say if you join the server at first, the first thing you will have to do is type referral and then type noobs own and you will get yourself some rewards. Now this is still the old client, you can download this one from the website right now, this is just a test server, this will not be the official server so if you spawn your account on here and you make progress this will not be going to the actual server. The actual live server that will be released tomorrow does actually have rune light so that's pretty nice as well you will have all the rune light features on there so that's pretty sick. Now to begin with I will do a server showcase so as you can see I am at the home area which is Edgeville. Now you have a bunch of things in Edgeville, you have the loyalty chest right here where you can get yourself some daily rewards. Now I think this is pretty cool so for day 1 I will just get 1 mil coins but as you can see as it progresses you will get more and more and better rewards so that's pretty nice. Then right here you have the donation store where you can actually buy general uh, cosmetics, equipment and uh, weapons and even pets. This is where I bought my Bloodhound pet. But yeah, you can also buy some rares and stuff here. Then you have the vote rewards, the makeover mage, the general stuff. Right here you have the Vitter guide, you have the melee stores, um, range stores and magic stores. And then you have the melee combat tutor and then the emblem trader. Now what I think is pretty cool is once you get here, you have this NPC right here, Nigel. You will have to talk to him, go through a whole conversation talking about the wilderness. But what it comes down to is that you will be able to get a um, bloody key, which can then be used on this chest um, to get yourself some pretty sick rewards. Of course, I do not have any of these um, keys at the moment, so I can't really show you guys, but that will be pretty nice once you get that. Now, what this key does is you get it from killing uh, a player, and once you get it and you pick it up, it will announce in the chat and you will be in multi-target so everyone can attack you. You will also be automatically sculled and you will have to tank it all the way out because you cannot teleport, so yeah. If you have the key, it will be quite dangerous to escape, but if you manage to escape, you will get some pretty nice rewards. Now next up right here you have Mac where you can buy your Mac cape of course. You also have Talisa right here um, where you can buy yourself some master capes as you can see the trimmed versions. You can also get the untrimmed versions. Uh, if you go in here you just have the general stores but you also have the pet manager and you can also sell um, some items to segment right here. Um, I do not have any items right now but let me just take my whip so I can show you guys. So as, as you can see you will get 1 GP here. Of course the values will the uh, def um, will be different for each item but yeah that's pretty nice as well um, but if you go to the pet manager you can ensure your pets so you don't lose them on death then right here you have the teleport mage so if you go here you can actually see there are a bunch of teleports like you have the monster teleports also the dungeons for slayer then you have the wilderness teleports as you can see you also can teleport straight to the obelisks which is pretty nice then you have the regular bosses as you can see here which are already quite a lot but then of course you still have the wilderness bosses as well so that's pretty nice then you got the mini games where I will go over the chambers of Xeric. Uh, for the Inferno you will need to sacrifice a fire cape to be able to actually go to do the Inferno. So first you need to complete the fight caves. Uh, and then you have some scaling teleports as well here as you can see for each single skill. And then the miscellaneous um, teleports to, um, to tan your hides uh, to get your uh, skill capes or to go to a sand pit. Now right here at this altar you can actually recharge your prayer but you can also ch uh, change your spellbook right here if you click on the spellbook and then you can choose the moderns, ancients or lunars. I'll just put it on lunars real quick because I love the vengeance and uh, yeah that's pretty nice as well. Anyways right now what I will be doing is showcase these um, the chambers of Xerix and then I'll go over some of the bosses as well. But let's go to the chambers of Xerix first. As you can see you will be teleported right here in front of the actual door. Now, as you know, to um, do the Chambers of Xerix, you will have to be in a, a clan chat. So I am in the help chat. Uh, let's see if I can go. All right, now actually to begin the Chambers of Xerix, you actually have to have a clan and then um, create your own party because you can't start without creating a party. So um, yeah, once that is done, you can recruit uh, other players to join as well. And then you can head over to the Chambers of Xerix itself and begin the raid. Now, I will not be completing the full raid, of course, because I do not actually have the armor needed to do so. Also, I do not have um, the food or anything. So yeah, 
I'll just be going uh, through it really quick so you guys can see until the point that I can't continue. So um, yeah, the chambers of Cerec look really nice as always. Um, they have been in, in uh, old school RS itself. It looked dead great as well. But um, yeah, first room we get is Tecton. Now Tecton is pretty cool in my opinion. However, he will definitely demolish me if I actually stayed here. So yeah, I'll probably die in the next couple of seconds and I'll be back with the next clip. Now of course there are a bunch of other bosses that you can go to, the Abyssal Side, Cave, Kraken Corp, Dagonauts, God Wars and all these other bosses right here. But there will still be a lot of updates by tomorrow when the server is actually released because if you actually have a look, this server has been up for 13, almost 14 days which means that this client that I am on right now hasn't been updated for 14 days but in the past 14 days of course they have done a lot of crazy updates so when you actually download the new client tomorrow you will have so many new updates that I will not be able to show off in this video it will be so nice once you get in now let's go ahead and check out the Abyssal Sire real quick because this is a boss that I haven't seen fully working on a lot of servers. So as you can see you have the pool right there. Um, I actually have no clue how to get it because I have never done this boss before. So I guess you just run through here and um, hope that I find it I guess. Okay so I did actually manage to find it but I have no idea how I should attack this thing. I guess you need range at first and then you will have to kill these tentacles and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm not the PVM god that Wooks is, so yeah, I have no chance of killing this myself. But um, yeah, let's just have a look to some of these other bosses, because I, I am really a PVM lover, so I want to see all these cool looking bosses. Oh, they have Vorkov as well, which is pretty nice, this dragon here. Um, so you'll be teleported to the Vorkov island, now if you climb over the icy rocks right here, or ice chunks, my bad, um, you will actually see Vorkov and you will have to poke him to wake him up and then he'll wake up and then look mad at you, uh, shoot some fire and you'll be dead in a few seconds. So um, yeah, Vorkov will wreck me in a second, so I guess I'll be back with the next boss. Now of course if you are a noob at PVM like me you just heal right here and you are done and ready to go on to your next boss. So yeah that's super fast, super easy and super nice. Um, but yeah then of course besides that you also have the Barrows Dual Arena, Fight Caves, Inferno, Winter Tot even and Pass Control. Uh, I didn't even know they had Winter Tot so yeah that's pretty nice. So um, yeah you can go to the Winter Tot and then do the Winter Tot minigame, get yourself some of these boxes and maybe even get super lucky and get yourself a Phoenix pet and the full Pyromancer set. Alright now I will be trying this Winter Tot just for a bit, I have no idea on how to do it so I probably will die and uh, suck at this game even more than I do right now. But um, yeah, trying is the best I can do, so let's have a look if I can actually manage to do some damage to the boss itself. And of course I died because I'm, I'm such a big noob. Now another thing that's really cool, well at least in my opinion, is the XP setup right here. So you can actually choose the position of your XP counter where you want it. I obviously will keep it at the right because I think that looks the best. You can also change the, uh, the, uh, the size if you want to, I'll uh, keep it on medium. And you can also change the speed, so if you get XP drops they will go down faster. I'll put it on default. Um, you can also check the, um, the duration of the box being here. I'll put it at 10 seconds, so if, if I'm not doing anything for 10 seconds the box will actually disappear. Um, you can also choose what skill you want to have on your XP counter. I'll keep it on total XP, your progress bar, colors, groups. So yeah, this is actually really nice. You can also put trackers on each skill. So I think this is a really cool feature of um, the XP drops right here. And you also have this world map which is really cool because you are, you can actually still run while the uh, world map is open. I haven't seen this on an RSPS before, I have seen this on RS. Oh look who's here, Carol is here, so FPK Mirko, that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen um, this before on any other RSPS, so yeah, that's pretty nice as well I guess. Now besides that you can also get some pretty cheap mystery boxes and exotic boxes at the donation store right here. So I'll open up 10 of each, you can get some pretty cool rewards of course. The exotic boxes will be better as you can see they cost a bit more. But let's have a look what we can get from our 10 mystery boxes. Oh we actually got 10 mil cash, I guess that's uh, pretty nice. Also pretty rare because it was an announcement. Oh Bandos boots as well. Oh, we are actually getting some really good stuff. Oh, we even got a mill addiction shard. Okay, so that's pretty nice. 13 mil cash, I guess that's actually way better than I expected. So let's see what we get from these. We get a bunch of sets. Oh, we actually got two more mystery boxes from these. So um, yeah, that's pretty nice. Derok set, Torok set, Zerkering. Oh, 
Ahram set, another Darok set, so we got a bunch of Barrow sets, two more Addiction Wards, um, Zerko Ring, and all these other items. So yeah, those can give some really good stuff to cash if you want to. Okay, so I actually opened 10 more and I got super lucky. I got a Ranger's Tunic, a full Trident of the Sea, a Fury, and a full Gilded set. So yeah, look at me balling right now with this gilded set oh this looks so good now to keep up the fashion scape of course i will have to buy a yellow party hat instead and um, actually put this on yeah that looks way better anyways that's going to be it for this video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video definitely make sure tomorrow on the release that you will come online to the server check it out with the full rune light futures and a bunch more updates that will be coming out together with the release so yeah definitely get hyped for that make sure Sure you are in the discord and on the forums to get updated with every single latest detail that you will need but anyways if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you didn't already also make sure to turn on the notifications so you get notifications of when i upload a new video and i'll be catching you guys in my next video peace